Hello, mathematicians. So today what we're going to do is we're going to continue building on our knowledge of the metric system by studying two units of measurement, kilograms and grams. What these two measure is weight and mass. Weight is a term that we use often to describe how heavy something is. Mass is another term mostly used in science to describe how much matter something is made up of. Matter is something that everything is made of, and that's what you would be calculating or measuring when you are using grams and kilograms. So when we see kilogram and gram, we see kilo, and we know that kilo means 1,000. So what that means is that this paperclip, if you've ever held a paperclip, then you know exactly what a gram feels like. A paper clip weighs one gram. Now, a kilogram is 1,000 of those paper clips. So if I was to take 1,000 and put them in a box, if I took 1,000 grams or 1,000 paper clips, that would equal one kilogram. So what that tells us is one kilogram, we use kg, equals 1,000 grams. What we're going to be working on today is we are going to be going from kilograms to grams. So what that means is, let's say I have this big, this is my spaghetti squash I bought at the grocery store. And when I brought it to the scale to weigh it, it is a massive spaghetti squash. It weighs three kilograms. Now when I'm thinking about this spaghetti squash, I wanted to I want to find out how many grams does that weigh. So we've learned a couple of different strategies that we can use to convert from a bigger unit of measurement to a smaller unit of measurement. And the first one we learned was a conversion table. So you could even make your own conversion tables by thinking about this one is going to be kilograms, this one is grams. Starting with our key up here, I can fill in my conversion table. One kilogram equals 1,000 grams. So that would mean that two kilograms would be um, 1,000 times two, because I would have two groups of 1,000. So that would be 2,000 grams. So this would mean three grams equals 3,000 grams. So that's the first strategy is using a conversion table. Sorry, I forgot to spell how to, how to spell conversion for a second. The second table strategy we learned this week is to draw a model. So I have this spaghetti squash is one kilogram, two kilograms, three kilograms. And inside of each group is not only a gram, a kilogram, but it's also 1,000 grams. 1,000 grams. I should say two since we have two here. 3,000 grams. So seeing here, we have equal groups. Again, our answer comes out to 3,000, or as you can see in both the conversion table and in our model, is what we did was we took three kilograms, and that's equal groups of 1,000, which equals 3,000. So that is our last strategy, is to use an equation. And here we had to use multiplication because there are 1,000 inside of the three groups using our models to understand. Since we're going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, bigger unit to a smaller unit, we're going to multiply. All right, let's see another scenario. Let's pretend that um, I have a dog someday, I wish, and I took my dog to the vet, and they told me that my dog weighs five 50,000 
grams. That's a, that's a big number. I'm thinking, okay, well, um, my teacher told me a gram is a paperclip, so my dog equals 50,000 paperclips. Not as easy to visualize. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert that into kilograms. I thought there was a paper. Oh, there's a paper clip. I forgot about that. All right. So we could again use a conversion table, but 50 is a super large number. So I feel like I would have to be I was counting by a lot, by a thousand, in order to get to 50,000. So maybe not the most practical strategy. I could draw equal groups, um, but that, again, I would have to draw 50,000 of these equal groups. So why don't we use an equation instead? So I'm going to take what we know. We know we have 50,000 grams. And our key at the top is going to say 1 kilogram equals 1,000 grams. So we have the 1,000 grams. And what I want to do with this 50,000 grams, since this is my total number of grams, and I need to figure out how many kilograms that is, I'm going to have to take this and divide it up into my equal groups. So I have 50,000 divided by 1,000 in order to get my answer cross off my zeros and I get 50 divided by 1 which is 50. Another way of looking at it is if I had how many kgs times 1,000 equals how many grams I have we could look at this as a multiplication equation but we're finding a missing factor and in order to find that missing factor we are dividing here and I could also cross off my zeros and I just can determine that there are 50 kilograms inside of the 50 grams. Oops, sorry.